Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. I love video game music and talking about video game music. Today we're gonna to be listening to Fiddlesticks The Ancient Fear from League of Legends. This was extremely requested from everybody in the comments, basically. I don't know anything about this. I've heard that there are screams as musical gestures in this. Also, I'm not gonna look at the screen because this is one of those like videos where you can see the artwork and stuff and I wanna really not be swayed. I know what Fiddlesticks looks like, but that's about it. Let's try to figure out what's going on. When fields like calm and wind stand still Run home, run home As the crows make night of the fading What's really cool about this is that it sounds like this is a folk tale, folk song about Fiddlesticks. If it's the ancient fear, I can deduce that Fiddlesticks has been around a really long time and it's probably terrifying. And so there are, in the same way that there are stories and folklore told about like a leshy because there are stories told about various things and in all sorts of different cultures in the way that we, you know, by pass down by person to person, old wives tales, I guess is the term. It feels like this is someone singing to their child about fiddlesticks. And I don't know, I'm curious to hear where we go. It's it's really interesting to have this, you know, very, oh, you know, it's, it's very, it's not the melody, but it's very raw, which its intention is to cause us fear. And underneath we have this sort of like prickly, creepy, crawly stuff, which is of course in a, a horror concept is always there to elicit fear. And there's something about when music has an edge to it, when we're playing like two notes, like that are right next to each other, there's always this, and also the way that the strings, the, the bowing on the string is in that moment, it's terrifying. Let's, let's keep going, this is only gonna get better. Anytime we use a child, uh, there's always fear, right? There's always concern. Children are so pure. Ooh, this one's tricky. Uh, I don't necessarily know that I can guess what Fiddlesticks is all about, besides the fact that maybe Fiddlesticks haunts dreams or invades people's minds in the ways of Freddy Krueger or something. I <laughs> I don't know, but, but also, ping! Ping, this pizzicato again it's like it's all to elicit fear this happens a lot actually there's there's it happens in turn of the screw which is a horror opera written by benjamin Britten, which i played peter quinton one of the ghosts and that as well has this sort of like creepy crawly stuff it's it's highly effective stay down stay Ah, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, 
Wow, it's freaking wild. I have, I have no idea what Fiddlesticks is about, if I'm honest with you. It was a little bit easier with the other characters. I mean, it sounds to me like, you know, I understand that he's decrepit and, and looks like a giant tree and, and he probably is one of these monsters that has, has existed for thousands of years and there's a real like desire to consume and to m kill and to feed and to feast without remorse or judgment or, or prejudice. But as far as like what the backstory is, Truly, I have no idea. And it wasn't clickbait. The, the music is so interesting because this is like a true classic horror. There's no misunderstanding that this is a being that exists to survive and to feed and to haunt the soul, prey on children. I don't know. You know, there's there's a real like, I, I keep thinking about consumption and, and feasting and, uh, and eating. So let's watch a character trailer so that I can get a better sense of the character. And obviously it'll tell me everything I need to know probably. Countryside's on edge after Foss Barrel. Yeah, filthy mages. <laughs> they show up here. They show up here, and I'll come. Tedric? Hey, Tedric! Help me! Help me! Tedric! <laughs> Yo, he's straight up like consuming him. So he consumes and then, well, I guess I was right about that. They, he consumes and then takes their voices, takes their like souls or their spirits. Let's look at some lore. Long, long ago in a tower by the edge of the sea, a foolish young mage summoned something into the world that he was not prepared to control. What stepped before the boy was something older than recorded history, something darker than a yawning starless night. Something the world had desperately tried to forget, and in an instant, the mage, the creature, and the tower itself were lost to all time. Telling tales of a monster that raised itself from untended graves in the ice, its body of shambling mass, helmets, buckles, fur, and wood. Right, so telling folk tales, okay. Something has awoken in the Damasian hinterlands, drawn by the climate of rising fear and paranoia, rural protectorates, separated from the capital by hundreds of miles of farmland are emptying in mere days. Travelers vanish from the old footpaths, guard patrols fail to report back from the edges of the kingdom, and wild-eyed survivors clawed their faces from the safety of roadside taverns, wailing of crows that aren't crows, sounds that aren't sounds, and a, t and a lopsided horror in the shape of a scarecrow that croaks in the stolen voices of the dead. Yet the truth is far worse, something has returned, just as it had the fictitious tale of the young mage and his seaside tower, an evil gone from the world of numberless centuries long enough that the warnings of nascent humanity passed into rumor, then myth, then legend, until all that remained were simple fables. An entity so utterly alien that it defies almost all contemporary knowledge of magic, so impossibly ancient that it has always been. A legend of a great evil that has no form, no thoughts, and no understanding of the world it inhabits, instead building itself the crude shape of those that fear it, the terror of all living things given life. In that first terrible scream of creation, a demon before demons were known. At least that's what the stories say, but fiddlesticks is real. Wow, that's super cool. So I wasn't completely off. I mean, some of the things were accurate, of course. Like, it's very interesting. There's there's a lot of these horror elements tied into this and all kind of looped in together. I mean, it, it does remind me of some of the, the folk lore creatures that we see in a game like, say, The Witcher 3 and, and some of the mythology of perhaps Eastern Europe. Some of these sort of creatures, uh, I'm really thinking about the Leshy in uh, Slavic mythology. But but I, I don't know for sure. That's extremely interesting. That's so cool. Again, these League themes are so easy. Each of them so uniquely unique and interesting and diverse and it's really fun to listen to these. Fiddlesticks was really, really requested and I'm sort of curious as to why. Using the screams as musical gestures is absolutely genius and extremely interesting and uh, I'm curious what you think of Fiddlesticks. And
And I guess like, do you like this format of listening to the music, watching the trailer, and then looking at the lore? Because I find that really interesting for me, but uh, I'm curious to know what you think. As always, uh, if you want to support the channel, feel free to check out the links in the about section. Feel free to like the video, subscribe if you're into it. And as always, thanks a ton. I'll talk to you later. Bye.